Hello friends, I am Aryam Grood, working as assistant professor in Sierra Institute of Technology, College of Engineering. Today we are going to see the module number 4, lecture number 1. The title of the module is Leveling and Application, in which we are going to study the level line, horizontal line, level and stable, spirit level, sensitiveness, benchmark, temporary and permanent adjustment, fly and check leveling. Booking grading, curvature and refraction, reciprocal leveling, longitudinal and cross section, plotting, contouring methods, characteristics and uses of contours, plotting, earthwork volume, capacity of reservoirs, planning meter, their types, theory, concept of zero circle, and study of digital planning meter with computation of areas and volume. So, in the leveling, it is a process used to determine a difference in elevation between two points. A level is an instrument with a telescope <coughs> that can be leveled with a spirit bubble. The optical line of sight forms a oriental line which is at same elevation as the telescopic crosshair. By reading a graduated rod held vertically on a point of known elevation, generally called benchmark, a difference in elevation can be measured and a height of instrument that is HI calculated by adding the star reading to the elevation of benchmark. And once the height of instrument is established, uh, readings can be taken on subsequent points and then elevation or RLs calculated by simply subtracting the reading from the height of instrument. This slide refers the three type of uh, instruments with uh, high precision, medium precision and low, uh, low precision devices. Uh, in case of high precision uh, instrument, the settlement where the bubble is very sensitive as it consists of high magnification power. Therefore, they can be used in the geodetic survey businesses that require high precision. Whereas in case of medium uh, precision instrument, it is less accurate than the first category and therefore used in most engineering projects. Whereas the low precision devices, generally the dumpy level or uh, even the tilting level, they are specially used for the purpose of settlement approximately and used in the building projects and settlement cases within the short distances. This slide uh, refers the dumpy level where we can observe the different part of the dumpy level. Uh, there is a, at the center there is a telescope, at one end of the telescope there is an eyepiece and thereafter there is a diaphragm and over the telescope on the outer side the focusing screw is provided. Similarly at the end of the telescope there is an object glass and uh, to the object glass the uh, shade is provided. Similarly the longitudinal bubble tube is placed parallel to the telescope and cross bubble is provided so that whenever we are trying to establish the relationship between the fundamental lines then the vertical axis and the horizontal axis making perpendicular then in that particular case the two bubbles which are, which are lying in the bubble tube as well as cross tube they must be at center. Similarly the instrument carries the circular compass and it again it carries the leveling head which consists of wood screws and tri wedge and the leveling head is provided in order to attach the tripod to the level and in order to suspend in the plumb bob there is a provision which is provided in the leveling head. This slide shows the uh, instrument namely the tilting level. It consists of micrometer tilting screw uh, and it has got a tilt axis and the circular level which is provided. Similarly, it consists of the telescope and also the main level and generally the main level is placed parallel to the telescope. At one end there is a high piece and at other end there is a object glass and whenever you are trying to establish a line of sight uh, in the direction of the stop which is held, then you are supposed to operate the tilting uh, level so that the bu bubble in the main uh, level should be at center and then and then only you are supposed to take the star readings. So in this slide we are going to see the different terms and their definition used in the leveling. And the first definition is datum line or mean sea level. It is generally denoted by M and 
it is the level line from which vertical distances are measured or elevations are calculated then the reduced level by making use of datum line when the points lying above or below the datum then we are going to calculate the rl of that particular point then back side generally it is uh, denoted as bs and it is the it is the stop reading generally the stop is held on the point where the rl is known or it is the first stop, stop reading taken when the leveling is to be carried out then the second term is foresight it is written or it is denoted as fs and it is the last stop reading taken from any setup then the next uh, term is intermediate sight it is denoted by is it is the stop reading taken in between foresight and back sight reading then elevation of line of sight it is the imaginary line of sight determined by the line of sight with respect to the sea level or datum then the tripod it is a portable three legged frame used as a platform for supporting the weight and maintaining the stability of some other object next is stop it is a wooden or metal ruler one side runway to meter and centimeter and is a ruler of solid wood of 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter and 5 meter in length usually it is 4 meter in length this figure refers to the benchmark see so generally the benchmark is a permanent point from where the leveling work has to be carried out therefore the position and the marking of benchmark is a very particular and generally in the figure the benchmark shown at vijayawada junction has been shown leveling of the instrument is done to make the vertical axis of the instrument truly vertical it is achieved by carrying out the following steps first step is the level tube is brought parallel to any two of foot screws by rotating the upper part of the instrument then the bubble is brought to the center of the level tube by rotating both the foot screws either inward or outward so that the bubble can be brought at the center then the level tube is placed over the third foot screw by rotating the upper part of the instrument by making use of third foot screw we are going to bring the bubble at the center and once it is brought at the center then again we are placing the telescope over the first two foot screws and we are trying to see whether the bubble is at center or not if it is then we are going to say that the instrument is leveled this slide refers to the auto level the figures are shown below figure indicate the three foot screws and the position of bubble which is at center in this slide we are going to see the types of leveling they are simple leveling differential leveling fly leveling profile leveling cross section leveling and reciprocal leveling these are the methods for obtaining elevation at different points and generally the rls are determined by making use of two methods namely the height of instrument it is also called as plane of collimation method and second method is rise and fall method in this slide we are going to see the two sketches related to simple leveling and differential leveling the simple leveling is to be carried out when the difference in elevation of two nearby point is required then simple leveling is performed whereas the differential leveling is performed when the final point is very far from the initial point and we are interested to calculate the rl difference between first and last point. so in the profile leveling profile leveling which yields elevation at different points along a reference line provides the needed data for designing facilities such as highways railways transmission lines reduced level at various point at regular interval along the line is calculated after getting the rls of various points the profile is drawn and while plotting normally vertical scale is much larger than horizontal scale for the clear view of the profile which is shown in the 
diagram. A reciprocal leveling is to be carried out when leveling across river is required. Then this method is applied to calculate the true difference between the two points. But in this particular case, there is, there is a possibility of getting the errors such as curvature error as well as refraction error. So in order to eliminate these errors, we are going to follow or adopt the reciprocal leveling. The next type of leveling are fly leveling and check leveling. In fly leveling is used for determination of approximate elevation of different points whereas the check leveling is done for purpose of checking the elevations. In case of fly leveling, it is done where rapidity but low precision is required. It is used for recognizance of the area for approximate checking of levels. Whereas the check leveling is generally done at the end of each day's work from the last station to the starting station for checking the RLs which are calculated during that particular day. In this slide we are going to see the types of leveling. They are simple leveling, differential leveling, fly leveling, profile leveling, cross section leveling and reciprocal leveling. These are the methods for obtaining elevation at different points and generally the RLs are determined by making use of two methods namely the height of instrument it is also called as plane of collimation method and second method is rise and fall method. So here in this slide we are going to see the height of instrument method, the basic equations or basic formula whenever we want to use this particular method. First of all we are interested to calculate the height of instrument and height of instrument is calculated by making use of RL of benchmark and the staff heading at benchmark. So the height of instrument equal to RL of benchmark plus backside. Then in order to calculate the RLs of different points generally maybe IS or FS readings are taken and in order to calculate the RLs, the staff reading taken at the different points which are uh, written as IS or FS are subtracted from the height of instrument to get the elevation or RL of a point. And then we are trying to apply the checks in the form of arithmetic check that is summation BS minus summation FS equal to last RL minus first RL. Uh, if this particular check is negative then it is a fall and if it is positive then we are going to consider rise. This slide refers to the page of level book in which we are going to make use of collimation plane method. So generally first reading that is entered in the backside reading since it is the first half reading and that particular reading is taken on the benchmark. Therefore, in the remark column, we are considering the RL of benchmark, it is 86.4 by 2. And whenever we are calculating the height of collimation to the RL of benchmark, we are going to add the backside reading that is 1.034 mm -hmm. to the 86.4 by 2 to get the height of collimation that is 87.486. Then we are going to calculate the reduced level of the intermediate points by subtracting the I side trading that is intermediate side trading uh, to get the RLs. Then again we are going to subtract in order to calculate the RL of change point we are going to subtract the FS reading from the height of instrument to get the RL of change point and after getting the RL of change point we are going to add the back side trading to get the new RL of plane of collimation. And after getting the new RLA plane of collimation, we are going to subtract the I side trading to get the RLA point. And this particular procedure is repeated. 
then we are going to apply the arithmetic check by considering summation of back side summation of full side uh, equal to last area minus first area and this is the check for rise and fall method where summation bs minus summation fs should be equal to last area minus first area also uh, summation of fall should be equal to summation of rise thank you